Hello everybody, I'm Alberto, Digital Fabricator Designer in Open.Lab. This tutorial is a part of Design and 3D Technologies for Health and Care course. And today I'm going to give you a preview introduction to 3D Slicer. 3D Slicer is an open source software that allows you to uh, viewing or uh, process uh, medical images such as uh, MRI or uh, CT scans. On the website uh, slicer.org, in addition to downloading the software, we can find uh, a lot of documentation and a forum made up uh, a very active community. Okay, now let's jump to 3D Slicer. To begin, let's take a quick look at the user interface that can be divided in three areas. Here on the top, we found uh, the toolbar where we can load, import, and save data. The drop down menu shows us uh, all the functions of the software that are called modules. Modules are really as many as you see, but today and uh, in the last one of Friday, I'm going to show you maybe five of these modules. Another important button is the layout that uh, where we can uh, choose which layout adopt in the windows below. Here we have uh, the three orthogonal view, axial, sagittal and coronal view and the 3D view, three dimensional view. Finally, on the left, we found uh, the module panel with all the commands of uh, each module. The first module that we find al already open is the Welcome to Slicer module, where we can again load the data item, load data from our PC, download sample, install extension, customize the user interface, and exploring data. Today we will start uh, from uh, a sample data set. So click on download sample data and choose a CTA cardio. This is the raw output of the medical scan. By clicking the left button of the mouse, we can change uh, the brightness and the contrast. With the right click of the, of the mouse, we can zoom in and zoom out. And finally, with the central button, if uh, we click the central button, we can do a pan or scroll through the slice. This is also can be done with uh, the bar on the top of, the, of each window, of each view. On the top left of each view, we can find a little pin icon where uh, we can see in which orthogonal view we are and uh, which data set uh, we are working on. With the chain icon, we link the three view and with the high button, we can see our slice in the 3D space. So we can scroll through the slice and it's real time updated in the 3D view. An important thing to do before start working on, the, on our data is to align the slice uh, to the plane. To do that, uh, we click on this button with the two little arrows and click here, rotate to volume plane. This is already aligned because it's uh, a sample data set. Now we are sure that all the slice are uh, aligned with the plane. Okay, now let's move to the segment editor module. So go in the drop down menu and select segment editor. Close here. Here we can find uh, many function. In master volume, volume, we choose which data we are using. Take care to check uh, if it's the same. And here we can add a new segmentation. Segmenting means uh, selecting a group of voxels that are part of the same organ of the same volume that we want to analyze. 
creating this uh, segment is uh, something like creating a new layer on Photoshop or Illustrator or maybe AutoCAD or other design software. Once the layer has been created, we can perform our first segmentation. Today I will explain you only the basic commands that are used to perform a manual segmentation. If you want to perform a segmentation on different anatomical region, you can create another layer. Now, let's try to segment one of the two kidney. Let's rename the segmentation and change the color by double click on the name and kidney enter and double cl double click on the color and click here you can choose uh, the color we like before starting selecting the organ we have to adjust uh, brightness uh, and contrast first of all we have to find uh, the kidney we want to segment and I want to segment uh, this one on the right so let's uh, zoom in and adjust brightness and contrast and find the better contrast between the kidney and the other things around the kidney so scroll to check through the slice of the kidney and this might be okay yeah we have uh, very basic tools uh, fully manual tools or, or semi-automatic tools and uh, also refining tools the first uh, basic tools uh, i show you is uh, paint with the paint tool we can uh, draw on each slice the areas we are interested in so by drawing on one of the slices you can see you have marked a specific area of the slice this is our selection in the module panel we can change uh, the dimension the the diameter of the of the tool of the brush so we can select uh, select uh, larger areas and here we can choose uh, where which area is uh, editable and uh, which area is uh, overwritable in 3d slicer there isn't uh, the possibility to use uh, ctrl c or command d to undo and redo operation but uh, there are these uh, two button using a paintbrush uh, is a very very long operation because you affect uh, on only one slice as you see I select on only one slice and uh, the other one uh, hasn't uh, a selection Another tool that is quite similar to paint uh, is uh, draw. Draw affect uh, only one slice uh, at a time. So by clicking on uh, our slice uh, with the mouse, we can go around the, the kidney, then hit enter on the keyboard, and then this is our segmentation. But uh, we can't uh, do this operation on all the slices. Some dataset uh, got uh, thousands of slices, so we can't uh, paint uh, or draw on each of these slices. A quick way to segment all the voxels uh, with similar para parameters on uh, all the slices is by using the threshold. By clicking on the button, automatically all the voxels with the same parameters are selected. At this point, we can adjust the threshold to obtain a selection that, that is uh, as close as possible to, the, to that to interest us. So, take uh, this handle, move the, thresh, the threshold near the black voxels. 
and uh, the handle on the left on the right uh, move uh, the the voxels the threshold uh, near the voxel the white voxels so let's fill uh, our kidney let's find uh, the right threshold for uh, the segmentation we want to do this could be a good solution let's check on the other slice uh, if uh, every part of the kidney is uh, is selected try to preserve the shape of the kidney as much as possible without thinking about the other we will erase it later when we are satisfied with the result uh, click on apply and boom we have the selection the segmentation of the kidney and uh, all the other voxels with the same parameters let's hide uh, the orthogonal view in the 3d space and click on show 3d when you click uh, on show 3d in the 3d space uh, will appear our segmentation now what we're going to do is uh, erase everything that uh, doesn't interest us there are two ways uh, to erase uh, the voxels to refine our segmentation the long one as uh, the previous command paint and draw is erase this effect uh, only on one slice uh, per time the short way is to use the scissor command with this command uh, we affect uh, on the 3d view so selecting place uh, in front of the of the model click on scissor and here we can choose how the our scissors affect uh, on the on the mesh on our mesh so we can uh, erase uh, outside freeform and slice cut slice cut unlimited and we can go around our kidney make a, a closed shade and boom and then keep going to cut everything we don't like Okay, now we are going to refine the shape of the kidney. So now the paint draw and the raise tool are very useful. So let's go in the orthogonal view and check if all the voxels are selected in the best way. Raise voxel we don't need maybe try to change the brightness and the contrast to check if uh, all the voxel are, are selected using these uh, refining tools uh, affecting on uh, each slice is uh, very useful because we can uh, because we can uh, draw literally draw voxels and adding them to our uh, slice 
to our model. Sorry. Now, the shape of the kidney is good. We can check if uh, inside uh, there is something strange. We can go on uh, segmentation here in 3D, move the handle of the opacity, and uh, we see that uh, it's a very, very good kidney. Now we need to export, so go back to uh, segmentation editor. Here, on the left of segmentation button, there is an arrow, click on it and uh, export file. So now we can uh, choose the destination folder, choose the format and the scale. So click on export and it's done. This is the bare minimum that allows you to perform fairly pre precise segmentation. In the lesson of uh, 19 June, we will see other tools uh, to perform segmentation faster and maybe even a few more tools for analyzing, visualization and uh, navigation. If you want to have uh, fun using this dataset, you can segment uh, the other kidney by trying to modify the avoidable areas in the masking tab so as to have two separate uh, meshes on two different levels. So, see you on Friday. Bye.